Now in the fifth situation, we need to classify them into monomial, binomial and trinomial. But what monomial is having only one term? Binomial is having only two terms. Then trinomial would be having three terms in total. So first situation, we have how terms? Hai? There are two terms, so what will happen? Binomial is the And the second part, it would be monomial. Then we have the third one, three terms are there. So it would be trinomial. Fourth volume is if 100 the always ka matlab kya hua? Single term is there, monomial. Or separation se basically plus minus ke separation se hume pata chalta hai ki humare pas do terms hai, teen terms hai, char terms hai. Separation hoona zaruri. A fifth case mein you can see there are three terms in total. So that would be a trinomial. Sixth one, you would have two terms. Or two terms ka matlab kya hai ki binomial ho. In the seventh part again you would have binomial. Kyunki isme beech mein kya sign laga hua hai? Minus ka sign laga hua hai. Now in the eighth part you would have only monomial. Kyunki single term hai na plus ka sign hai na minus ka sign hai situation. Ninth mein humare paas three terms are there. Z square hai, three Z hai and eight is there. So it would become a trinomial. Then in the tenth case you would have a binomial because plus ka sign beach mein lag chuka in the 11th part you have a z square plus z so it would have two terms in it and it would be a binomial again for us 12th part mein humare paas we have is 1 plus x plus x square so that would be a trinomial because plus ka sign ka separation hai 